your gross vehicle weight combination rating. So that means your truck and your trailer. All right. If your truck is, if your GVW of your truck and your trailer is over twenty six thousand pounds, you need a Class A CDL. If it's underneath twenty six thousand one pounds, you do not need a Class A CDL. Yo, what is going on, man? Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you guys decided to come through the video today. I was going through my DMs today, and I know a lot of people say, you don't get back in your DMs. I'm like, bro, you guys have to realize there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people reaching out to me every single day. I started realizing that a common question still to this day, which I felt like I covered it, is still, do you need a CDL to do what I'm doing? Now, overall, no. You don't really need a CDL to do parts or levels of what I'm doing. For my truck and my trailer, you do need a Class A CDL. I'm gonna say that one more time so people in the back can hear us. For my setup, you do need a Class A CDL to run my particular truck and my particular trailer. <laughs> Now, with all that good stuff being said, you guys finally understand that part with iDrive, let's talk about the guys who don't want to drive with a CDL. I strongly, I strongly suggest you go get your CDL. I mean, I'm only 24 years old, but I'm telling you some valuable information here. You go get your CDL. I strongly suggest you go get your CDL. February 7th, 2022, it's going to be a lot harder to get your CDLs. A lot of rules are changing. A lot of insurance policy rules are changing. Just be prepared for that. February 7th, 2022, I strongly suggest you go get your CDLs before then. Even if you're going to continue rocking your non CDL setup which we're about to get into even if you're gonna continue rocking that non CDL setup I strongly get your you, I strongly suggest you go get your CDLs just so you can have it and the reason why I say that is it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it okay so let's go ahead and talk about what are the actual classes or levels of a CDL so I'm gonna read this I'm reading this straight from the internet okay straight from the internet it's also knowledge that I do know but I'm trying to show you that you guys can also do your own research you don't need to rely on somebody like me or other individuals who do YouTube or whatever to give you information you can go do the research yourself I'm literally pulling it straight from the internet class a CDL so if your vehicle is over your GVWR for your vehicle is over 10,000 pounds and your combination weight that means adding on a trailer or whatever you're towing it's above 26,000 pounds you need a class A CDL let's go ahead and talk about what a class B CDL is required to operate any single vehicle that isn't hitched to a trailer commercial trucks that have any attached cab or cargo area with a combined weight greater than 26,000 pounds as well as trucks with a detached towed cargo vehicle that weighs less than 10,000 pounds class C CDL required to operate a single vehicle with GVWR of less than 26,001 pounds or a vehicle towing another vehicle that weighs less than 10,000 pounds or transport 16 or more passengers including the driver. Now I'm going to go ahead and break up what vehicles kind of fall underneath these categories, okay? So you got your class A, tractor trailers also known as semis, big rigs or 18 wheelers. Truck and trailer combinations, tankers, vehicles, livestock, carriers, flatbeds, most class B and class C vehicles depending on endorsement requirements. Let's go ahead and attack that class B side right quick. Straight trucks, large buses, city buses, tourist buses, and school buses, segmented buses, box trucks, including delivery trucks and furniture trucks, dump trucks, or small trailers, some class C vehicles with the correct endorsements. Class C CDL, you got your doubles, you got your triple trailers. Then you got your buses, tanks, trucks, and hazmat vehicles. To me, it's not hard to understand, but I, I get it. Some some rules are just it's like ah. If your if your gross vehicle weight combination rating, so that means your truck and your trailer. All right. If your truck is if your GVW of your truck and your trailer is over twenty six thousand pounds, you need a Class A CDL. If it's underneath twenty six thousand and one pounds. You do not need a Class A CDL. So yeah, you'll have to probably derate your vehicles. Now, if you wanted to skate underneath this 26,000 pound rule, let's look up what a 2500 GVWR 2020. Let's see what that GVWR is. It's anywhere between 8,500 to 10,000 10, pounds. So let's go ahead and just say 26,001 minus 10,000, that's 16,000. So let's type in a gooseneck with 16K GVWR. Man, look, people, look. I'm making it as simple as possible. I'm making it as simple as possible. All right, 26,001 pounds. If you go over that, you need a Class A CDL. Combination weight between your truck and your trailer needs to be underneath 26,000 pounds.
Understanding that your GVWR or your GCVWR, whatever it is, the combination of your truck and trailer does not mean that your truck and trailer weighs that amount of weight. So let's say your GVWR for your truck is 10,000 and your GVWR for your trailer is 14. You have 24,000 GVWR. That's your combination, right? That does not mean that you're only able to haul 2,000 pounds. Ain't no fucking weight, bro. No, that's not what that means. Truck and trailer empty is completely different from your GV, your GCWR. Or your GVWR, like your weight may your GC your GVWR may be ten thousand pounds for your truck, but your truck may only weigh I think it's and correct me I'm wrong I think it's six to eight thousand pounds. GVWR for a Ram 3500 2020 is either ten thousand or eleven thousand pounds. So let's go ahead and just say it's twelve thousand pounds. Let's go ahead and just say it's twelve. It's twelve thousand pounds GVWR. Well, I carry a twenty two GN. So let's go ahead and look up what a twenty two GN. 22 GN and GN does not it stands for gooseneck that's all it stands for big tech so a 22 GN big techs okay the GVWR for my trailer is 20 and I think this is correct it's 23,900 so if we go into our famous calculator y'all let's go to our calculator we have 12,000 that's 23,900 all right that's 35,900 so this right here is my gross vehicle weight combination okay so this is my truck and my trailer combined okay my truck and my trailer combined so if I go in and subtract 26,001 I'm 9,899 pounds over the level the criteria to be considered non CDL and let's say let's say for instance you get my truck let's say you do get my truck so my truck was what 12,000 right that means you're gonna need 14,001 that's the GVWR you need for your trailer your trailer needs to be that GVWR let's look up and I'm gonna type this. I'm gonna type this and this is how you should do it this is how I'm, I'm literally showing you how to figure out what trailer you need if depending on what vehicle you're gonna get or whatnot so if you're looking for something that has a 14,000 pound GVWR gooseneck trailers with 14 K GVWR let's see what happens let's see what pops up so it's a 25 foot trailer they're offering you a 25 foot trailer now things that you can do is which I think I should make further videos on it because I don't want to just smash it all into one video you can get yourself like a 40 foot trailer and derate the axles now people say what does derating mean derating is basically mean your trailers usually come standard with the 10k axles or the 12k axles to direct to derate the trailer you need to go down to 7k axles. that's the way to skate underneath the rule of getting your CDL and not getting your CDL my truck and trailer empty, I'm 35,900 pounds as you guys saw. But my truck and trailer empty weighs 17,000 pounds. What? So just because your GVWR, the combination weight between both the vehicle and the actual trailer is 24 or whatever the number that you get or whatever trailer and truck you get to make whatever number you get, just because it's a certain number does not mean that, okay, I only can haul 26,000, only can haul 2,000 pounds, only can haul 4,000 pounds. No, that's the GVWR. That's what it's rated for. We are talking about the actual weight. Your actual weight is different compared to that. I think most non-CDO guys can carry anywhere between eight to 10,000 pounds if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, any non-CDO guys in the comments, let me know, please. I, I believe I am right, but that's that's the better way to understand. I, th I think that's what people get really confused. That just because you, your GVWR, your GCWR, I think it's GCVWR, your gross vehicle combination weight rating, GVCWR, your GVCWR, just because it's 24,000 pounds does not mean that's what you weigh. You do not weigh that. I weigh, my GVWR is combined is 35,000 pounds, but I really am only 17,000 pounds empty. See what I'm saying? So when it's just my truck and my trailer, all my equipment on the truck and trailer, I weigh 17,000 pounds. The loads that we carry, all the videos that you guys seen us hauling partials and all these different type of loads, you've never seen us haul any tankers or anything like that or any big old crates on our truck before or anything like that. My truck, I have never actually seen my truck go over 30,000 pounds. I've never seen my truck go over 26,000 pounds. Like, I mean, actually I've seen it go up to 28,000 pounds one time, but it's never really up there. Like, I really never weigh that much, you know what I mean? I never put that much weight on my truck. I see a lot of these guys hauling 15,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds, 16,000 pounds, whatever, with one load. Not gonna lie to you, we don't really do that. I don't remember the last time we did that. I don't remember the last time we did that. That combination rating is a rating. That's what you're rated for. It's not how much you actually weigh. So with that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I broke it down well enough for you guys to understand. It's a real short little video on it. I think it was, I think I did I did my part. Like I said, I tried to show you that you can literally go on Google and find this information out for yourself. But I will drop a link 
to my Instagram page where I actually posted a link where you can actually see it actually it's a diagram that actually breaks down if you need a CDO or not for every single thing so it'll tell you what you need because even I'm not gonna lie to you when it comes to that 10,000 pound rule it's a little confusing to me too because I think in California and comment if you guys know this information yourself because I don't know I think if you if you weigh over 10,000 pounds in California you have to get a CDO it doesn't work the same way like in every other state so I don't really know all the rules myself um, I know that the, the way to get around that without getting in trouble with the rules is to go get a class A CDO. It's as simple as that. I know it sounds like, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's really not that hard, guys. It's 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 really not that hard. It's just going to be real. It's, it's really not that hard. Just go get a class A CDL. But if you don't want to do that, well, here's this video for you guys so you guys can understand the rules. And when I will drop the link in the description so that way you can click on that picture and you can see it for yourself and determine if you need a class A CDL or not, or if you need a B or a C or whatever you're going to be doing. I think if you're doing this type of work, it's really an A or not an A. I don't think B or C really applies to this because B is for buses and stuff like that and C is almost the same thing. So hope you guys enjoyed the video i think i broke it down well enough for you guys to understand i think i broke it down for myself to understand as well please comment in the comment section so we can have a conversation about this because like i said i'm not an expert like i said i just went on google and googled it and brought the information to you guys so people who are coming in the game who don't know you guys can understand and you guys can also help me google it just, let's do some research together because i don't know just as much as you probably don't know but i decided instead of me not knowing and trying to question left and right and go to every dot officer and be like but i'm this but i'm that well, I got my CDL. Counting these commas, we run it up. All of these hoes, they won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she getting real sloppy. Staying high, now she living the dreams. On her pants, Magello on me. Jolly Ranchers, mess it up with the lean. Johnny Dang, all my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk, cause she think I'm a geek.